Steve Evans, does your side know when to pack it in? No, I think the um, I think the one thing I always promise the chairman and supporters is that we'll we'll go to the end of every game and if we're losing four 0 we may finish four 0 but we don't want it to be five 0 We'd rather be four one. I think if you take the balance of the game, I think Hawks are better than us first half. We gave a horrendous goal away, just an individual error, but they capitalised and they got a little bit of momentum and the crowd are great here, aren't they? They're great the Brummies to get is it Brummies? I don't know if I'm uh, cutting that because they're Walsall people, but they got right behind the team and second half we we tried to affect it positively, we changed it, went a more attacking system of play, made some changes, made some changes again early in the second half. I think about the when the substitutions get made about sixty minutes or six times, the game changed and we became by far the better team and it was a to me, it'd be a case of could Walsall counter-attack and get a second, which they almost did a couple of times because we're leaving man for man at the back two or three times. Or, or could we have a, a lot better luck, a lot better quality um, and get a goal? And, um, you know, I, I thought for the last 10 minutes of normal time, the, the goal was coming. And then when he put it up, I thought we'd score. Um, but, you know, when you score late like that, it always feels better than what it is because of... The performance is, was clearly a step down from where it's been in recent weeks. It was suggested that your team finds a way, and they had to today because of all sorts. They're very awkward, aren't they? Well, they're a big, strong side. So he's got them well organised. They've got competitors. You know, people, people ahead in a you know way have played for me. They're they're good people. They're, they're salt of the earth people actually, and uh, so it was always going to be tough. But listen, they'll they'll be a benchmark if it's. Three great wins. It possibly was close. Well, it was very close to being four today. But if it's three good wins, they're the benchmarking. We're still trying to find our feet. We're still, you know, needing substitutes to come on and influence the game and change it for us. Um, and whilst that's great, you, you'd rather be in command like we were for long periods. And that last 25 minutes against Stockport. Granted, we made the changes, but we're so much in command. But you know, we said to the players at, at half time, and then we had a little water break near the end. Then there with the injury. And we said to the players, we, we we just do not lie down and die. You find an elastoplast, you find sellotape, you hold it together and, and you dig in and you fight. And um, and that got us a point. And it has to be said, it's most people was expecting the, the long throw. It's cleverly what Great ball in. Great ball from, from Arthur, who made a good, good contribution again when he came on. And Danny Rose, who I thought was outstanding at, at Reading, outstanding when he came on against Stockport. I just said to him in the dressing room, he's the one player I'll look at and say, should have played you from the start today, um, when he when he scores like that and it's late on. But I think his own contribution allowed him to deserve that goal, and the team deserved it because I think if I sat as a neutral, it's hard to sit as a neutral and Flynn will be disappointed. They'll be coming up with other phrases. But I think if I sat as a neutral today, and I'm more experienced than Michael, that's the only thing I am. As I said, a point was uh, a point was fair given their, their performance first half and given their dominance of the ball later on. Danny Rose. Only five foot eight. He's got no right to win that that header with the defence in, that he's got in front of him. No, nah, Rosie, Rosie was fantastic for me in Mansfield. You know, it was Danny Rose had a contract in his hand to join Peterborough. With me having moved there for a free close to half a million pounds, and and the Radford family pulled it very. For, it could have been any later. He'd his pen in his hand to sign, but they pulled it. And I've always followed his career. We've always kept in touch at a distance because you have to respect the. He's been away playing at Northampton, had a great season, helping them get the promotion. But, you know, I made it clear the first day that they were promoted. I, I spoke to him and I said, I, I want to sign you. So, he said, well, let me go on holiday there, I'll meet you. So, um, he's, a, he's a goal scorer, he's a threat, he's a handful. He gives the support as what a supporter would give if they wore the shot. And I was delighted, I don't know who we've got today, but there's a good, sizable support coming up from Steve and each. And it was, it was great when they see the goal go into the net and the, and the players celebrate in front of them. It's, they they've didn't have many of these days last year, so it's great when they have them. They didn't have many last year. They've had three of them already on the road this season. And it's it's just getting them on the road and, and supporting the side again. Yeah, listen, I think your supporters have been away and say they've seen us play better at Reading. They've certainly seen us play better than spells against Stockport and, and certainly up at Tram. We'll, we'll play better, but we also have to accept this is a team that's, that's won all the games this season. This is a team that, that Michael has spoken openly about promotion. Um, we're not speaking about promotion. We're just trying to speak about trying to win on Tuesday now against Rochdale. Mm. Um, your performances over a season take where you, where you should go. And we've got we've got a lot of work to do, Chairman and myself. We've got a lot of work to do to add to the group. 
very selectively in the next 10 days, very selectively, but we think it's evident again today that we that we need to add to it. As you said, so many times last season, Steve Nidge have conceded late for a draw or even a defeat. So it's, it's, it's been hard to take on the opposite foot this time. It gives the players a little bit of heart going into Tuesday and that they must, it just gives them that lift, if you like, that it happened so late and they can take that into Rochdale. Oh, 100% Steve. I think there's a clear difference. We're so fit this year. We're fit. I'm sure it's in the 96th minute. Come on, we we'll keep going, we we'll keep going. I'm, I'm listening to men, men, you know, the Sweeney's and, you know, in the Clarks, experienced boys has played good levels in the Roses and that keep fighting. Jordan Roberts is chasing lost causes, running back into the corner flag. They had the ball in the corner flag in the 97th minute. And, um, but, you know, as, as I repeat, we, we go to the end, we fight, you know, and if it's a, it's a game of golf today, we probably don't win the competition because our quality wasn't quite there today. Mm. But we'd have been in the mix because of our desire and passion and commitment. Um, that's why I got on with Rory so well on the golf scene because I know what his passion is, but I know what his commitment is. I mean, he's going to win when his quality is not there, but we, we showed it in, we showed it in abundance today. And and we're never going to lay down and die. We make it be, we make it be handsomely. We're never going to die ever. Die. Well done, Steve. Thank you.